To me, it's uh, really a challenge uh, trying to really finish it in less than 24 hours. It's, uh, it's a really cool opportunity just to meet other local artists and just have fun doing something that you would normally do by yourself but in a much different setting. It means that I actually have a chance to sit down and make a comic. Hopefully that's you know going to be 24 pages. Uh, yeah, it's a good opportunity to get together with some of your peers and hang out and make some, make some comics. A chance to sit down with a goal and hopefully be uninterrupted and just be able to you know, talk while you work with other people that know, you know what's really important to you. 24 hour comic day I guess is just a challenge, a chance to kind of draw comics and have fun for a day and not have to worry about the outside world maybe for 24 hours. chance to, to draw for 24 hours straight hopefully. Um, and uh, you know, try to come up with a, a different idea or a different way of doing what you typically draw. A big challenge in forcing myself to stick with something for at least 24 hours straight. Yeah, <laughs> commitment and dedication and challenge. Yeah, that's what it means. Oh, like a party. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely, it's a challenge and it's something that. Um, get motivated and talk to people, network with people. And, yeah. Hanging out with all these artists who hate me. Giggling. <laughs> it means uh, an excuse to sleep on Dave's shoulder around 3 a.m. Oh yeah, it does. It means, uh, it means impeccable fashion. I don't think you can do a close-up on this. <laughs> For my new shoes, you I'm the only one left. It means uh, I'm the only writer here, meaning the only guy who can't draw but won't admit it. So that's pretty exciting too. Making comics. Uh, no sleep and lots of people hating me. Lots. Lots of it. Lots of it. <laughs> lots of condescending looks. Uh, lots lot, of how old are you? Lots of, <laughs> yeah, lots of aren't you, isn't there a curfew? Are they allowed to have eight year olds out this time? Like, really? Yeah, that's what it means. 24 hour comics day means to me uh, such things as Vikings, uh, troll warriors, a lot of. A lot of goblin talk, um, stuff like that. Like a lot of toasts, some delicious desserts. Oh, I was uh, I, um, I became a member of uh, the Tiny Army. It's a uh, it's a group of artists, uh, local artists over here in Phoenix. And they they mentioned about the 24-hour comics, so that's why I'm here. Uh, I've actually known about 24-hour comics since like its beginning a number of years ago. Uh, a friend of mine did it and kept inviting me, and uh, this is the first actually opportunity I've had to come and do one. I honestly don't remember. I've known about it for several years, but it's the first year I get to actually participate. I originally heard about it from reading Scott and Cloud's books back in the day. Um, I've already done it once before. And uh, so here I am doing it again. Well, I heard about it a few years ago, but this is my first year that uh, we were talking about it during the Tiny Army. In the past, again, Scott McCloud I've heard about from. Um, I tried it on my own a couple times at home. Unfortunately, when you're at home, you can quit any time because the bed's laying right there. So um, Tiny Army meeting, they talked about having it here. I figure, hey, it's a lot harder to quit from here. So, uh, and then I left the car at home, so now I have to call somebody if I want to quit. So it even makes it a little bit more challenging. I've heard about it numerous times over the years. I've actually done it uh, four times previous. So this is the fifth time, and I just uh, felt like this would be a, a good time to do it. Uh, a good time to try to do it again. It's been a couple of years since I've done it. Yeah, I've heard on, about it on the internet and Scott McCloud and things like that. So. I've never actually participated in an official one before, so I went to the website to look it up some more, see what it was about. I heard it from Dave. Yeah! <laughs> no! Mostly. Mostly Dave. Yeah! I heard from a, uh, I think you were Twitter, Spazdog on Twitter. And also, uh, yeah, it's all over the place. Spazdogcomics.com. Same place, Eric, your Twitter. Yeah. And it had it. <laughs> <laughs> on the internet. Okay, uh, prior to today, I just very little experience. Uh, I am just actually just like a beginner really on this. But I had already, uh, I already graduated from uh, from my school. I was, uh, I got a bachelor in animation. 
but uh, I am a teacher right now, but uh, I, I want to still uh, do something like this. I don't really have too much. Um, I've written some, and I've just done some little stuff like at school, but really nothing too big. None. Not really. Uh, I'm mostly a painter. Uh, I draw, I illustrate things, but I've never really done any kind of storytelling with comics. 24 hour comic day, it's mostly just a little hobby I do now and then. I do a lot of illustration and stuff like that, but I do a lot of you know, telling stories with image and text and sequence. Before I used to do children's books, and I kind of got lumped into a comic field even though I wasn't really doing comics just because my books were, were sort of children but creepy and were sold in comic book stores but now I actually have a web comic that I'm working on called Super Vamp so I'm trying to actually put my creepiness into comic book format. In the mid 90s I did a lot of minis and stuff kind of hand around at the town um, then I got married stopped doing comics for a while about two years ago, I started making minis again, and then I decided to do online comic strips. And uh, now it's just time to expand kind of beyond that and maybe do some real comics. And other I draw a mini comic called Blind Mice. I've drawn a few here and there, like uh, just some of my sketchbooks. And I took two comic book courses. I tried to do um, a mini comic for the final. It was like the final for each course. So I've done that, but otherwise I've just been like a reader up until then. I've always been into comics. Well, I'm not really, really knowledgeable about them, but I've always wanted to do my own. I'm always into like a character, or illustrated narratives, and yeah, that sort of thing. Bikini Automatic for KWO Press with uh, Ken Wright and Maggie Wright and Dave Baker again, <laughs> and uh, Childish Illusions for Indie Only Comics with Dave Baker, oh, running yeah. theme, super gay. And uh, I'm the co-founder of ModernMythologyPress.com, and we have minis up there all the time. Starring uh, Angela Montgomery, you've seen on this thing, and also uh, Sam Lagren, and Dave Baker again. Yeah, dude. And anybody else wants to join, ModernMythologyPress.com. KWO Press, Bikini Automatic. Uh, Indie Only Comics, Sequential Tucson, and Childish Delusions of Grandeur, uh, and Superiority. God, the title's so long. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and then, oh, Calbreeze from Spook Show Records. Thank you for grabbing my tit. No problem. Um, and uh, from Modern Mythology Press, Horrible Little People. Sir. Mm. I do a comic called Monster Commute um, for the last year, and I make that. And that's what I'm working on right now. It won the uh, Automotive Web Comic Awards um, in Michigan for the best newcomer last year, and then I got the Phoenix New Times best webcomic of Phoenix, which is probably the only webcomic they know about.